Hey Blockheads, I'm John Pierce from U.S. Sailing and we're here at the beautiful Buddy Melgus Sailing Center in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to apply the Harkin Blockheads measurement decal to a variety of youth boats so you can get fast, repeatable settings and take advantage of some of the different control lines on each boat. To start off here, we're going to look at the laser, which is a very simple boat and is a perfect uh, way to use this kind of measurement decal because it has a couple of simple settings that are very easy to repeat if you have a way to measure them. So the first thing we're going to look at is the outhaul. And stepping back to the primary outhaul block, the uh, easiest place to measure that is right along the boom. And you can use like a Sharpie or something to make a couple of marks there. But even better is to take the horizontal piece of the measurement decal and line it up so that at this medium setting the base of the block on the outhaul lines up with number five here. So that we know now is our five setting and when we go to make an adjustment for different conditions or a different leg of the course if we bring on more tension we now know that we're now at a seven setting or if we're going to ease off tension for more power or to go downwind, now we're at more like a you know, three setting. And so the point here is that when you feel fast or um, you know, when you're trying to get back to that fast setting that you had before, you can easily look up at the boom and see what the setting is and then make a mental note or write it down in your sailing notebook and repeat it the next day of racing or even on the next leg of the course. Um, you know, if you don't have any kind of measurement system, you're going to end up just guessing every time that you reset those control lines and having to reinvent the wheel. So you might have been really fast on the first upwind leg, but you don't know how to reset and reconfigure to repeat that on the next leg of the race. So you're going to be reinventing the wheel. So this is a much easier approach with a repeatable setting and uh, it's really not complicated. So now that we've got the laser outhaul set up, let's look at the Cunningham control line. So first things first, um, with the Cunningham, it's very important that the most eased setting that you have is nice and loose. You wanna make sure that there's plenty of slack here in the sail so that when you ease off the Cunningham on a downwind or in light air, there's plenty of slack to make sure the sail is nice and full. Um, so now what we're gonna do is apply the vertical measurement sticker to the mast along here and track the position of the Cunningham block. So applying the sticker, I'm going to try to get it fairly high up on the mast here along the same side that the Cunningham is and squeeze it underneath this outhaul block. That's a little tricky. So now we have it set up so that the number one position is when the block is at its max loose position for downwind or light air. As the wind comes on, you want to be aggressive with the amount of Cunningham that you put on on the laser. It can really help depower, but you need to have adequate tension. So heaving on plenty of Cunningham. You can see the grommet is getting pulled down to the gooseneck. So now we've got the top of the block here pretty much lined up with a number six here. It's very easy to be accurate and controlled with that adjustment rather than just kind of willy-nilly pulling lines on and off. And you know, for many intermediate to advanced sailors, one of the things that's holding them back is accuracy with their tuning and their sail setup. So again, this decal is just helping us fine-tune and be a little more specific with what we're doing in the boat.